Okay, so it seems like I was actually right about the Grey release being, well, in Season 9. But right now, we've got Nozel and Kohono coming out, um, what is that? July 4th. Alright, so uh, Thursday at Reset. Thursday Reset is when Nozel and Kohono are coming out. Now, this is a free skip banner, just going to say that now, uh, but we're going to talk about what they do, which one you should pick. I'm going to make another video of which one you should pick more in depth, um, going over their full kits with a bit of showcases, and um, also talking about the whale situations. Um, but then we're also going to talk about Grey a bit in this video, because this banner is going till, well, two weeks later, the 4th, till the 18th. So that kind of means we've got from like the 18th to the 30th without a banner which means yeah gray is probably coming out in season nine also um so we're gonna talk about if you should be worried about that but uh not really in my opinion this is a skip banner just saying um now by the way you should probably like this i don't get how i <laughs> this is actually stupid to me they want to get thirty thousand uh people to like the post and comment below Thirty thousand, bro like how do you want to get thirty thousand, even if it's on all your socials how do you expect to get thirty thousand? i just don't have hope for them but i hope that this video is going to send some people over maybe we'll see so nozel kohono um are both like okay but kohono actually has a use where like nozel especially at zero dupes just is not it right so remember poison's been buffed poison's been buffed and now when there's three stacks you reduce the person with three stacks of poison uh, you reduce the mobility by 50%, which is really good. And he has AOE poison stacks on both his skill one and at max dupe his skill two and his combo. Um, the thing is, it's just like, you could put um, Nozel with Witch Queen and it should go pretty well. Honestly, uh, Witch Queen has one stack of poison. If she gets that 50% proc, it will work probably pretty well. Now, the thing is skill one, uh, just 50% chance to AOE. Now, every time you're hit, you get this, sorry, my bad. I, I'm going to talk without dupes and then with dupes. Two dupes, I think, is the bare minimum, in my opinion, for him to really work. But uh, it's going to depend, right? I haven't really used Nozel in a while because he just isn't worth it. But drip-wise, very cool. Um, so at, well, his LR passive, when he gets the LR, he gets basically a Mercury stack every uh, turn, that well, every time it's his turn. And that's going to be a 10% damage reduction buff up to three times. Now, um, when he gets the two dupes, all DLTs convert into Mercury, which becomes very good because like in one turn, boom, 30% um, damage reduction. Pretty good. Now, um, LR5 is going to be where when you have three Mercuries, every attack applies poison. Now, this one thing that I don't know because I don't have it maxed out, we will check it out on Global if I do max them out, is does this apply too? Because obviously it already applies poison. So does this make it to where it's going to apply two poisons? That is something to be considered right we don't know i have no clue um i don't really think many people even max them out so there's that now his do uh, uh, skill two is pretty good okay it puts level a uh, uh, weapon disarm level five or three depending on the amount of mercury stacks and then with the skill page it becomes godly removing one buff from the designated target no matter what and reducing buff duration by one turn on all enemies this is a very good one to have especially on global where many people more so free to plays or casuals um, don't really have many green um, enhanced talent stones. What I'm talking about is these. Okay, uh, do, with these, right? And what these do is allow you to pick two talents. And that's going to allow many people to get the resolution talent, which puts debuff block pretty much all the time if you have high enough damage res. But um, on global, like many free to plays don't have it as much because it hasn't been out long. So this is very good because you will put it on this one too is very good, right? Now his alt is meh. Puts immortality immunity if there is already immortality on them. Uh, does okay damage. Basically, when you kill, you do 90% per mercury to everyone. And then gives mercury removal. So most of the time, you're either comboing for the poison, skill 2, or skill 1. Okay. So you're basically... His main thing is going to be putting poison, weapon disarm, reducing buff duration. And then at the same time, if you have a max dupe. Max dupe, that's the thing. It's really bad. Max dupe is... Uh, it's rough, right? For someone like him where it's like not even worth it. So that's the thing where, yeah, he could be okay. He's not going to be great, but like he's fun. If you want to use him, go ahead. I have a uh, two showcases on him. I like him. He's just not worth it when you got Kohono, who's a god in PvE. Like she makes, like you guys got to start building up an attack set for this green Yami because these two together are godly, okay? She gives uh, attack buff. She gives extended buff duration, level three attack buff, insane. And then gives opening Aria buff on her skill two, her alt, and I think with passives. So 
This gives 5% penetration and 2% crit, uh, crit damage. And you could stack this up to five times. Then it goes to Festival Area, kind of like Kyoto, where you get 60% pen, 45% crit damage, and 15% increased damage dealt. Then you could start stacking these again. Okay, pretty fucking good. Um, and this is forever stacks. It's not stacks that go away. Keep that in mind. For world boss, it's insane. And then her alt gives 50% mobility increase, which you're going to start seeing a trend on like supporters, kind of like Grey has, which is very good because then it allows you to get multiple turns in. Then it gives all allies crit rate buff, and then an open, oh, sorry, open Aria stack, and then you could convert it to Festival Aria. Then her combo also could stun, attack increase, but the main thing is really this, um, and then also the rest. So like when she takes damage from a defender, which is still pretty good because Valkyrie Noel, right, is still there, but you, Valkyrie won't really be attacking her much, so that's the thing, but it does give a 30% damage increase. But then with uh, dupe two, at least I'd say, um, it, she gets crazy, right? Being able to give open Arya every time to the DPS or the person with the highest attack when she takes damage, really good, really good. Um, and then she, they, they are going to start going crazy. It doesn't seem like open Arya, I've, but disclaimer, I've not really used Kohono much, but yes, everyone does use her in world boss and in PVE content for nuking, mainly world boss. Okay. Just saying that, right? She's going to be very good probably for future content too. When you consider the fact that we are getting a roguelike game mode soon. So we might need to do nuking stuff, right? Um, but being able to increase 60%, pen, 45% crit damage, damage increase, um, penetration increase even further, and crit damage further, and crit rate, and attack for Yami. And also considering now, um, what is it? Zora, if you need for PvE. Black Divider soon, he's an attacker. Maybe a Dimension slash Yami, a, like a proper one. Maybe a Third Eye Raya, okay? So there's a bunch of attack attackers. So Kohono, long-term, way better. If you're choosing one, Kohono, easily, 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 okay? Kohono is for sure the best one, but if you like Nozelle and you plan on uh, investing in him, won't be that bad, will not be that bad, okay? Just saying that right now, but you do need to invest Max Dupe for him to really pop off, but if you do, you can have a fun little team. Is it meta? No. Nope, 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 nope. But for PvP, if you want one out of the two and you're just not interested in PvE, then, you know, go for Nozelle, I guess but you would need to invest into him to max stoop. Is it worth it? Hell no. If you're free to play, go for Kohono. If you're like pay to win, like a pretty decent whale and you want to get Nozelle, sure, sure. That's the only instance, okay? The only instance. Now, what does this mean? 7-4 ending on the 18th. It means we're either getting gray on the 16th or the 18th. Why the 16th? Because that would mean Gray's banner would end when season nine ends or the uh, the 18th, because that's exactly when Nozelle and Kohono's banner ends, okay? So one of these two dates, we're going to be getting Gray 100%, because as we saw in my video where I talked about Gray, let me actually pull it up. Well, basically, um, if we check it out, um, hold on. Yeah, okay, I did talk about it. So Gray and Fineral had a paid banner, but we've never had two paid banners in the same season for normal pickups. For normal pickups, not talking about anything else. And where we could actually see this in full effect is the fact that Fauna had a paid banner, but Witch Queen did not. Okay, Witch Queen did not, but they released in the same season, but on different dates. Okay, Fauna had a paid, Witch Queen didn't. They released seven days apart, okay? And only Fauna had a paid banner. So that means that Grey and Fenrir will not be releasing in the same season unless they change the banner schedule. But then there's also the fact now that this banner is coming out 7-4, which means there needs to be a fill-in banner. So it's either a rerun or Grey or both, okay? And if it's a rerun, that also means season five Charlotte's coming back. And that means you need to save. A lot of new players need to save because everyone is going to want to get this Charlotte if it is a rerun. Okay, it's either a rerun or great or both, okay? So that's the thing, okay? Just putting that out there. Um, but yeah, gray, not a need, okay? Like almost, she's great for um, RTA. That's it. That's pretty much it. I'm not gonna lie. Like she's good. She's really good. But she, like, she, it's weird. She's an S+, plus, but she's not like a necessity for most players. Because yes, she works great with Noel. But if you have Summer Ghost ready, if you have uh, Supporter William, you're fine, right? Um, and then for Mono Red, Lotus has been working so much better and more annoyingly that it's like great, you don't need great either, right? Now, the thing is with gray that I would like to test more is can those, uh, Lotus remove gray's buff? Because this is like a special buff, but I'm not really too sure about that. But gray, gray's good. 
for pick and ban RTA, when that does come, amazing, but not a necessity for most free to play. So you could also skip her just saying the rest of the season is a skip no matter what, unless you're a new player. But at that point, great, you have more resources and then you could get Charlotte. So that's all I wanted to say. Um, it does basically confirm either a rerun or gray seasonal rerun or gray um but yeah there you go um oh perfect hey you got your answer uh but yeah nozelle best drip ever um in game do i have it um okay so nozelle i just want to i want to show this because like his drip his intro amazing um like amazing amazing design I mean, I haven't met two dupes. Like, now that we're slowing down on banner releases on JP, it seems, and we're getting a lot less, there's a certain units I want to get up. And one of them is Nozelle, just to try. Because he's kind of fire. Like, it's kind of fire. I'm not going to lie. And now with the meta we're in, with him having a built-in 30% damage reduction too, and with, like, obviously level 125, and he gets, what, 10k HP at level 125 too? And then what, what's the rest? Um, 20k, uh, yeah, 50k HP, perfect. So for him, it could be pretty toxic with his built-in damage reduction and no way to take uh, DLTs. So it's nice. Um, but besides that, I also, I don't have uh, Kohono built up. It's unfortunate, but I just, I'm scared to use it. Once World Boss comes back, I'm going to build her, but not right now. Um, right now, I'm kind of thinking of either max duping Mimosa or Ghosh because I have 14 mage dupes. So it's like, I could put it into someone. I'm just unsure who. Let me know who you think I should. I could put Magna up. Jack, I'm going to wait for Global. Probably should be Season 10, but I'm going to wait for Global. But uh, yeah, that's basically it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to start farming on JP. See you guys. Bye-bye.